Swedish Academy this morning has handed out their latest Nobel Prize, this time for literature, and it honors this year Norwegian writer and dramatist Jan Fosse with the coveted prize. Abby Kugavassen is in London. Jan Fosse is the fourth Norwegian writer to win a Nobel Prize, and the committee says he was driving in the Norwegian countryside when he received this official phone call confirming his win this morning, and he promised to drive home safely. Here's what the permanent secretary of the Swedish Academy, Mats Malm, had to say about the novelist and playwright. The Nobel Prize in Literature for 2023 is awarded to the Norwegian author Jan Fosse, for his innovative plays and prose, which give voice to the unsayable. Now, Fosse has written about 40 plays, which his publisher says have been adapted for the stage in more than a thousand productions. He's also written a dozen novels, poetry collections, essays, and children's books over his four decade writing career. And his style is often described in the literary world as dreamlike. He has previously said that almost dying when he was just seven years old created him as an artist. Now, past winners in this category include Toni Morrison. Gabriel Garcia Marquez and Bob Dylan. Dylan, some may remember, didn't respond publicly to his 2016 win for about two weeks. That's unusual, of course. Fosse has already spoken to Reuters this morning. He says he's overwhelmed. He also added that he's somewhat frightened, but he feels this award also recognizes the language that he writes in, that only 10% of Norwegians speak the official version that he utilizes. Now, we were keeping our eye on a very impressive list of writers this morning. Morning, including Canadian author Margaret Atwood and Japanese writer Haruki uh, Murakami, always top of mind this time of year. Now, this is an award that Alfred Nobel's 1895 will directly references. He called for a literature laureate to have produced the most outstanding work in an ideal direction. Fosse and the other winners will be honored in December, and that will include the Peace Prize laureate. That announcement, Heather, comes tomorrow.